Here's the latest news for Red Deer in central Alberta. A company in Red Deer has been hired to help improve Canada's Arctic defense. Technolix in Red Deer is working with ACO Frontac to create a new type of radar system in Canada, a polar over-the-horizon radar. Typical radar systems are limited by the curvature of the Earth. The new system will send a beam into the upper atmosphere and bounce it back, giving it a much larger range. While similar systems exist around the world, no other system needs to be able to go through the Aurora Borealis. ACO Frontex says this project is a long time in the making. You know, has it got a new urgency because of the state of the world right now? Yes, I think it absolutely has. Um, and there is now broad political support uh, for improving our defensive systems. And there is a big focus right now on what needs to be done in the Arctic. And I think, you know, that's uh, well overdue. Um, we've been neglecting it for a long time. The first of three installations of the experimental radar will be in the Northwest Territories. The project is scheduled to be finished by 2027. A pair of central Alberta villages have new fire chiefs. Lacombe County announced Friday that Steve Zaistoff is the new district fire chief of the Clive Fire Department. Corey Anderson is the new district fire chief of the Alex Fire Department. Both have extensive experience in fire service and are looking forward to their new roles. The outgoing chiefs are being thanked for their service and contributions to the community. A new photo exhibit in Calgary features the works of a former fashion photographer. Falling through the cracks is set up at the Alberta Society of Artists. It features pictures taken by medicine hat artist Wes Bell. The collection stems from an incident that happened in 2019. Doctors initially missed complications with his gallbladder. A physician apologized and told him his case fell through the cracks. When he was recovering from surgery, he was out for a walk and saw a crack that reminded him of a new scar on his abdomen. And um, it became interesting because when I look back at my career in fashion, it was all about, I was known for detail and driving people crazy on detail. And here I am out photographing cracks, again, looking for detail. Bell spent more than two decades photographing models in Italy and New York. He now focuses on natural landscapes. His exhibit ends on June 26th. There was heavy rain in many parts of central Alberta over the weekend. This was Pinoca on Friday. A flash rainstorm hit the town in the afternoon. By 4.30, 50th Avenue was underwater. According to Environment Canada, the area received 9.1 millimeters of rain on Friday. Those numbers were collected from the Lacombe Reporting Station, which is the closest one to Pinoca. People living there hope the water is cleared up by the start of Stampede on Wednesday. And just a reminder, if you would like to watch any of these stories again, you can catch them on our YouTube channel. Just search CTV News Red Deer. Taking a look at your Tuesday forecast, in the morning a little bit on the chilly side. We'll start off fairly clear sky, temperatures from about 3 to 5 degrees in the region. As we head into the afternoon, we'll be right around average seasonal high, 20 to 21, but a little bit unsettled. There's a slight risk that we could see some scattered thunderstorms as we get into the afternoon. Pretty slight, but that risk is there. Things warm up after that. Here's a closer look at your Red Deer forecast.